Hey guys, it's Phoenix. So let's continue on from the last video. Let's talk about the mobs C and D that have just been released on the Minecraft Twitter page. So here are the two videos of Jens discussing what they are and what you should expect from them. So take a look. During Mike on Earth, you get to vote for mob C, the Great Hunger. This cute looking mob has a huge mouth and a great appetite for enchanting powers. It will open its huge jaw and sink into the ground where it camouflage itself. Any mobs or items that fall into its mouth will be consumed. You should vote on this mob because it has some interesting enchanting powers. Maybe you can even use these abilities to your own advantage to add or remove enchantments from your own items. During Mank on Earth, you get to vote for mob D, the Hovering Inferno. This is a master blaze, which body parts look like shields that will be used to defend itself. The Hovering Inferno spawns with a group of blazes as a random encounter in the nether. It has a shockwave attack that is very dangerous and you will definitely need some flame protection to defeat this mob. You should vote for mob D because it would make the nether even more scary and exciting. Okay, so there have been a lot of talks about which mob will probably be the better one out of the four. Now that you know all four, I'll make a final poll. So this might be in some ways indicative of what might win. Now, I don't really want to give away a lot of hints, but a lot of people have been telling uh, everyone else that C is the best mob out of the four. The main reason why people have come to this conclusion is, and I'm just going to quickly simplify this, and this might be an oversimplification uh, of everyone's um, ideas and thoughts, but A is, of course, the underwater mob, which doesn't add a lot of value, and I agree with that. B is based off of a flawed mechanic or some sort of persuasive idea that um, it's going to try and force players to sleep, which is counterproductive in some ways because you don't really want players to sleep. Now, you don't really have players sleeping in Minecraft anyway unless it's sort of like in at the start of your gameplay and you're still not really geared up, so sleeping is the best way to avoid danger. Now this is problematic in some ways because it detracts from the value of the game and what you should really be striving to do and that is progressing and sleeping is sort of not within that uh, that path. Now, now personally I don't think Mojang is going to be that stupid to force players to sleep because I feel like the mob will still appear even when you've slept sufficiently. Now that is my uh, personal opinion and I find that these brief discussions and descriptions from these videos don't tell the whole story. Now talking about C, and I think C is objectively better than the other three mobs because C offers uh, a new mechanic, allows you to strip items of enchantments, and it also looks like the Pokemon Trapinch. And that's sort of beside the point, but some people really like that. And obviously the appearance of a mob can give some value to it. But that's sort of just digressing. Um, but it does uh, have an interesting way of attacking players. It's camouflaging. That's something that people might like. Yen's idea of D is that it is a mob that sort of spawns with blazes sometimes. Now, it does protect itself with shields, and I do really want to see that. But other than that, I do find D to be the, the dull one or the monotonous one out of uh, the... Uh, we all knew it was going to be a blaze, but I do think it's the worst one out of the four. Uh, from the drop of this video, Minecon Earth will be airing on the internet as a 90-minute live stream, uh, probably around 14 hours from the drop of this video. Um, I'm not going to be watching it because I'm going to be fast asleep at 4 a.m. at night. Otherwise, look forward to that. I hope it's going to be a better experience than my initial thoughts, and uh, well, obviously everyone would want that. Um, but I am pretty excited about the new features that will be announced because that's really what everyone's going to be there for. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content, news updates. There's really been an abundance of news. That's why I've been putting out all these types of videos because there's a lot going on real with Minecon Earth, new features, and the 1.13 update. Thank you all for watching. Take care.